Hey, it's Pete C for Sampli Review, and today I'm checking out Fluid Brass by Audio Imperia and Performance Samples. Audio Imperia and Performance Samples once again have teamed up following the success of the Mighty Chorus. This time the focus is on brass shorts and brass shorts only. Expanding on the idea of Performance Samples own fluid shorts libraries, the attention is turned to more velocity layers, more round robins, more recorded performance speeds, which all result in a more realistic and lifelike performance. Fluid Brass does one thing, but it does it oh so exceptionally well. Fluid Brass downloads at around 26 gigabytes and contains five instruments, six dynamic layers, and up to 10 round robins. It has been recorded in a variety of playing speeds and is powered by the Audio Imperia Pyramid engine. Fluid Brass requires the free contact 6.6.1 or better and is also NKS compatible. Fluid Brass normally sells for $99 but is on intro at $79. Fluid Brass really importantly just says one thing, it is all about brass shorts and it's 26 gigabytes for a reason. I've loaded up the trumpets and they sound like this. So they're really bitey, they're really bright, and they sound brilliant. So why is it 26 gigabytes? Well, at the moment, there are two microphones active, but there are five microphones in total. But that isn't really where the bulk of the samples are. It's the fact that there are six dynamic layers. So I'm hammering my controller there, but it's very responsive. And there are up to 10 different round robins. And also they've been recorded at different speeds. So you get a more realistic performance. If you are playing a quicker passage, it will be the quicker performances. And Perf Perk uh, did this as well, um, which are the performance samples. And also with their fluid shorts, which was all about the uh, string shorts, um, you got these really cool lifelike uh, performances. And I use fluid shorts for years. I still use it. They're two of my favorite libraries um, and they are just workhorses for me. I need short strings. There we go. So on a similar notion, now when I need short breaths, which is very, very often, this is absolutely perfect. It's agile. So let's have a bit more of a listen. So there's a variety of different playing there. It's really, really bright. So that's the trumpets. Uh, let's move on to the horns. And the range is really cool. Um, you've got a low B down there, and you've got a high F sharp. 
Um, yeah, sounds brill. Let's go tenor trombones. Again, incredibly bitey. And again, you can really hear. You sort of do those sort of uh, trills. Just the speed, how it kind of adapts to what you're doing. Uh, bass trombones. trying to get an idea of what they sound like across the octave again the range um, down from a low E up to a high A fantastic and then you got the tubers Again, really, really adaptive to what you're doing. Now, let's go for uh, trumpets again. Just talk about the instrument itself. So there's only one articulation. As I said, it only does short. You don't need to use a mod wheel for anything. If I do... You don't need to because it's all in the velocity. Now, on the left-hand side, you have the different microphones. So I believe you have a close mic. Um, we have spot mic, no sectional mic, sorry. Then we have our main microphones, wide mic and ambient mic. Um, so you could just adjust the sound as you see fit. So let's just, let's go just for the sectional. And then you go for the ambient. Let's go wired. And then we can go ambient. So you can hear the bite is absolutely incredible on those um, trumpets. And of course you can sort of mix and match. So if I went um, ambient and wide to the close out. Yeah, it sounds cool. And then you can adjust the panning as you see fit. Um, now you've got reverb, so you can turn it on and off and adjust how much you have. Whoops, I actually haven't put a mic on yet. Uh, so that's the close, and let's do close and ambient. So you can have it nice and dry. Now I'll see, I wouldn't use ambient there. Um, might use sectional. Sorry, that's not the ambient. I keep saying ambient, it's the uh, main mic. Yeah, B. Let's do sectional. So 
also got a nice dry, uh, dry sound. Um, and then obviously you can bring reverb as you feel, uh, see fit. And then you have the uh, expression, which is your main volume. And then obviously, as it's a uh, pyramid audio imperial product, and form samples do this as well, you can uh, sort of click tight or just the samples start. So in form samples libraries, um, there's a slider you can generally move. Um, and then in audio imperial, you just click the type button, but you can adjust that to taste as well on the advanced tab. Um, and then it just means if you're playing on the grid, the sample will just play exactly where you want it. There's none of this sort of sample start sound little sort of buffer of a few millis uh, milliseconds, which of course for real realism is really important. So I tend not to use this anymore. Um, I just put negative delay on my tracks and uh, use it uh, with the delay just to make it sound more natural. But it's really cool if you're doing like really tight focus passages to have this option. Sounds great. And then let's go to the horns, um, just show the advanced tab. Now you can adjust the reverb with more detail. Um, so change pre-delay, time, amount, put it into a hall. So yeah, that's uh, nice and easy to do. Um, we've got loads of reverb. Sounds cool. Let's do the tenor trombones for the last part of the advanced. Um, so you can adjust the dynamic range. Um, so that's 100%. Uh, if we go down to zero. Here it's really I play at low velocities, you can really hear the first dynamic layers. That's very cool. Um, obviously, when you're programming it, you can draw in any velocity you would like to use, and then you've got a sample start, so it goes right from minus 20, which would be your tight. So minus 20 milliseconds and then all the way up to minus 100, which is a full sample. So if you are using negative delay, you can do it all on the grid and then um, put negative delay of 800 milliseconds. Um, although, depending on what part you're playing, you probably don't want to completely 100% 100, 100 uh, quantize anyway. And then you can adjust the velocity curve. Really useful, especially for, um, I use complete controllers. So something like that will actually get me more uh, velocity control, probably a bit closer to that. So I'm not hammering away the keyboard as much as uh, I would normally. And then you can transpose should you need to. Um, I'm not going to go through that, but it is quite straightforward just transposing up and down. Um, click on the information and it shows you who is responsible, the amazing team um, who are uh, creating these libraries. So yeah, absolutely brilliant. Now. It's quite a short video because, like I say, it does one thing, but it does it incredibly well. What I recommend doing is going onto the um, Audio Imperial website and listening to all the demos so you can see all the sections together. Um, I spent the whole review trying not to do this. The 
through fear of copyright. Um, but you can just imagine the sounds you can create for your mock-ups. Um, I, I would go straight for like, if you're doing John Williams, really short tight brass passages, this will work so incredibly well um, for hybrid cinema, for cinematic, for just whatever you need short brass for, it's going to be brilliant. So it's comprehensive. It is um, very, very acrobatic. Uh, so you can do really, really fast runs if you need to, or just hold down ostinato pattern, uh, patterns. And with all the round robins and the velocity layers and that sort of performance sampling technique, uh, it's just a, a one of a kind library. So if you're expecting legato and really, really long um, horn passages and lots of different effects, then it isn't library for you. But for $99 or the $79 it's on intro at the moment, um, it's brilliant. You're going to use it so much. I can speak from experience when I use Fluid Shorts 1 and 2, still use them, um, but they've been two of the best purchases I've ever made. And now Fluid Brass, yeah, it's an absolute winner. Thank you so much for checking out this review of Fluid Brass by Audio Imperia and Performance Samples. It is an absolutely fantastic library. I cannot recommend it enough. If you like what you heard, feel free to leave us a like and leave us a message. What do you like about the library? How would you use it? What sort of styles do you think you'll use it in? If you've not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos on YouTube and then head over to samplibreview.com to check out everything that is going on in the world of virtual instruments. Until next time, have a great day and keep making music. <laughs>